Sweta Bachne from Piyaki School of Nursing and welcome to all of you on the behalf of Guru K. Today is my topic is Swine Flu. Now the introduction. Swine Flu is the very common uh, virus throughout the pigs in worldwide and it's also named is uh, hog flu, swine influenza, pig influenza likewise. Now the structure Mainly the swine flu is caused by swine flu virus, which is also short term in SIV. This IV structure is structured in spherical form and the virus is enveloped. Now the classification we have divided into two types, influenza A and influenza C. There are subtypes of influenza A, H1, N1, H2, N2 and H2, N3, and H3, N1, and H3, N2. Now the common strains are H1, N1, and H3, N2. Transmission. Now the transmission by the pig to pig. That means animal to animal. Uh, uh, infected pigs to uninfected pigs. And infected, uh, sorry, animal to human. Another classic, uh, another transmission is uh, infected pig to humans. Or uh, third one classification is human to human contact. That means the infected uh, human uh, transmitted the infection to the normal person. Now the sign and symptoms. Sign and symptoms of swine flu are sore throat, chills, hydrate fever, and body ache, headache. These are the special signs and symptoms for the swine flu. And the similar uh, swine flu symptoms are similar to the influenza. Now the uh, most common that traits because of the respiratory failure, high grade fever due to the neurological complications and another one is pneumonia that leads to sepsis. Now the prevention. Prevention pig to pig. Avoid the contact infected pigs to infected pigs. Now pigs to human. When you are handling the infected pigs, you have to wear gloves, shades, masks. Now prevention between human to human. The most prevention by the is uh, using the sterilized infection control. In this uh, standardized infection control you have to use frequently hand washing and by the soap and water and you can also use alcohol based sanitizer especially you if you are out of the home public places crowd or in the hospitals and you uh, we can also use the uh, vaccination for the prevention of SIV like trivalent TIV vaccine and LAIV, live attenuated, attenuated influenza vaccine. It's also formed in the nasal spray or the miscellaneous. And we can also use for the prevention masking, gloving, and avoiding the contact with the infected person. Especially, uh, please avoid the uh, touching the infected person's eyes, hands, uh, mouth, and nose. Because these are more uh, prominent for the infection. Now the treatment. Treatment we can use antiviral therapy. We will not apply the antibacterial therapy because uh, swine flu is caused by virus, not by the bacteria. So we will apply the antiviral therapy. Likewise, Tamiflu and Xanamivir is the most effective therapy for the swine flu. And uh, uh, we can also treat the fever body ache and headache by the giving the paracetamol or by the analgesics. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please for more details log on on www.gurukpu.com.